What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and, well, I think if you at least live in the United States, you're pretty familiar with the AT&T girl. They run commercials with her nonstop. It's basically the thing phone companies do now. Verizon, I think, used to have the Can You Hear Me Now guy, whoever, whatever, and now he switched networks to Sprint. Um, but Mel Melania Vintrub, apparently, I I'm sorry if I mispronounced her name, uh, had a bit of a breakdown yesterday over so many comments about a certain um, endowment. Uh, you know, I think, obviously, she, I mean, she's a beautiful woman. But I never really kind of thought about any of this stuff in uh, when I saw the commercials. I just thought, oh, AT&T, I guess. Uh, it's for iPhone users, boo iPhones, Androids, uh, FTW. Um, but before I get into the story, basically everyone should be using a VPN. And I'm happy to provide you with uh, this video sponsor, Private Internet Access. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, private internet access. It's a leading VPN provider with over 30 million downloads worldwide. If you didn't know, the term VPN stands for virtual private network. With private internet access, all of your internet traffic goes through a secure VPN tunnel, your IP address is hidden, and your data is encrypted. Private internet access is available on all platforms, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, and many others. You can use one subscription to protect up to 10 devices at the same time. So that's your cell phones, your computer, your laptop. If you use the link provided below only for my community, you can get complete digital privacy for less than three bucks a month and three months free. You can unblock geo-restricted content and streaming especially now a lot of people are searching for content and this is the place where private internet access can fit in private internet access has a strict no logs policy over 3200 vpn servers in 48 countries and a 30-day money-back guarantee reviewers love private internet access and it got pc magazine's editor choice award for the past five years I've used private internet access to protect me while I do my streams with all of you, as well as get access to content that isn't available in the United States. And don't forget to click the link in the description below for private internet access so you can get a special discount for my subscribers only. Make sure you check out the special offer in the pinned comment below. Start protecting your data and yourself when you're browsing the internet. Now, AT&T girl breaks down over harassment from ads. I didn't even know this was an issue. I, I thought these ads were, I mean, it just proves the internet can be a cruel place sometimes, I imagine. Uh, I had no idea that this was an issue. Uh, actress and comedian Melania broke down into tears during a recent Instagram Live after receiving thousands of comments due to her appearance in widely popular AT&T commercials. What do you mean? Like, I literally, what do you mean? She looks totally normal. I don't get this one. For those not in the loop, the actress is an Uzbekistan-born American entertainer who's become a quite popular figure in the online circles as of late, gaining a wide variety of admirers across the internet due to her physical attributes. First appearing in AT&T advertisements from 2013 to 2016, she has once again made the waves after reigniting her stint as the spokesperson for the company in 2020. But this time, the internet is taking their fandom. What is the... I literally... What? A quick look at the comments on her Instagram photos turns up a slew of all inappropriate sentiments, with many making note of the comedian's body in less than positive manner. What? She's super attractive. What is that? What? It seems that these comments have gotten extremely out of command, uh, out of hand, as evidenced by the actress's Instagram Live on August 23rd, where she broke down over the near constant. Uh, Harassment she receives on social media due to her looks. What do you mean she's... Are you joking? By the way, the uh, the GoFundMe 
we have going right now for uh, the local game shop that lost everything due to peaceful protesters as of right now is at 13,500. I'll leave it linked in the pinned comment down below. I've, I checked out their Facebook page. It looks like the total damages are about 50,000. So hopefully we can at least get halfway there today. Uh, the whole story is here. In fact, I did a video on it earlier today that I hope you'll check out. I don't get it. She's a good looking woman. What, what kind of comments is, what, what? I don't get it. She's a mom. I don't see anything weird here. Okay. All right. It seems that these comments have gotten out of hand. Maybe it's just to be with a person on the internet, or maybe it's specific to being a woman on the internet, she began. All of these milk, milkies. <laughs> oh, mi oh, and milk, milk wagons and all that. It hurts my feelings. Here's Tyler saying, this is so sad. She, the at and girl, is talking about how she's uncomfortable with people making these type of comments about her chest. She, what? I'm hurting and it's bringing up a lot of feelings of really bad behavior. And I'm just like, you know, she continued walking my dog and getting messages from people who have distorted my picture to get likes on their accounts. Despite her pleas to fans, it doesn't seem like this is going to die down anytime soon. If the comments beneath the clips taken from her viral Instagram live are any indication of public sentiment. I could agree that maybe she doesn't like the attention she's gotten, but she posted pictures like this on the internet, one critic wrote, sharing a photo of the star. Pretty sure she knew what was going to go down. She can wear anything she likes, but she should know. Whoa! 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 Uh, yeah, okay. Zoiks! Um, she advertises all the time. She's beautiful, and they aren't... Oh wait, I could they aren't even big. Why are you joking? They look pretty big to me. Similar comments are also posted under unpopular tweets using the clips of the Instagram broadcast, which has then sparked conversation across the web about objectification of women. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, what how did people get that from these commercials? She looks totally plain in these commercials. On purpose. It's like literally a uniform. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Yes. Uh, I can see she is a very busty woman. We can see in several of her pictures. Not on her AT&T commercials. Um, and is it appropriate... No, and it sucks. Um, I think that, I mean, she's obviously a beautiful woman who's been very blessed um, if you're into that type of thing. Uh, but 14-year-old girl, boys are going to 14-year-old. Um, it's became public no knowledge that she has a, very ra a, ver a rather very large pair. I didn't even know. This simping for the 18D girl made its way back into Instagram page, which might have crossed the line a tad. Oh, okay, I see. Man, I want to... Uh, lovely milkers. Milk. Yeah, that's just too much. I mean, at the end of the day, people are, you know... I'm not going to condemn it. Um, but people are still... Uh, people are still human, you know? The comments of Milky's and other 4chan style comments have gone on for several days, prompting a response on Instagram Live by herself. Um, and the article finishes to be problems. She probably made her problem or problem worse. I can see for the internet simps and trolls pressing on, commenting worse and worse things. Well, here's what you should probably do. I'm sure you're going to watch my video because you've got nothing better to do. Um, probably start an OnlyFans account. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. You'd probably have... 20,000, 30,000 tier three years right away. I don't know. Are there tiers on OnlyFans? I don't know. Um, this is a common thing. It You know, to act like it's a woman-only thing, and I don't think she was, like, going down the whole feminism line. 
It absolutely positively happens to men, too. I mean, it's in print. Cosmopolitan's 10 spiciest abs on men and all this kind of stuff. It's just, it's the way it is. Um, it's built into our nature. Uh, it's a biological thing. But also, like, maybe, you know, don't go on their personal pages and post these things. It's a tough, it's a tough spot. It's why I don't post pictures of my family to my Facebook page or to my Twitter. I don't think hardly ever. Uh, it's why I don't really, I rare, super rarely post pictures of my wife. Although, you guys are always super respectful, except for you feet people, I see you. But, you know, ultimately, maybe just enjoy her beauty. Um, you know... I understand the position where you post pictures that are very, like in very deep cut shirts, and then you get mad when men notice. That's not a great look. Um, I, I think ultimately you put something out there in 2020 like that, and you know what the response is going to be. Now, I'm not shaming her for it. She should be like, uh, she should be, I, I guess, flattered. She should be able to post exactly whatever, whenever she wants to. But there is also some personal responsibility. And if you're going to post pictures like in a deep cut shirt, to expect people not to comment on that, I just think is a tad naive. And for somebody who works in Hollywood, uh, it seems unlikely that she didn't know. But um, I guess I enjoy her commercials. I don't have an iPhone. We'll never have an iPhone. So... I don't care about AT&T. Um, probably turn this to uh, spin this into your uh, positive, I think. You should open an OnlyFans. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.